In this video, we're going to be doing the gaming review of the new Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day, hopefully everyone is safe out there. Of course, we have the new Samsung Galaxy A55 5G in the house right here. We're going to be testing out a few video games on here, going from least graphic intensive to most graphic intensive, starting off with Call of Duty Mobile. But before we start that game, we have 8GB of RAM inside of this device, and of course we have the new Exynos 1480 inside of this. So we have a step up, of course, from last year's 1380 processor, so without further ado, let's go ahead and see how all of this looks all right guys let's go ahead and start this off and see how this plays i'm sure it's going to play great since we have a newer processor of course eight gigabytes of ram in here as well and yeah everything's looking decent so far not really a huge surprise anywhere right here this runs perfectly well let's take both these guys out Hey guys, so absolutely nothing wrong so far. Runs great, runs great. And great thing about this as well is we have stereo speakers, speaker at the bottom, speaker at the headset as well. So never gonna be blocking at least one of these speakers. Really, I'm not blocking any right now, but if you have bigger hands and you wanna rest your hand like this instead of this, you're at least gonna have one other speaker up here. All right guys, so we are now in PUBG, and as far as the graphical settings we have on here, looks like we have HD right there. So we have HD, and as far as the frame rate, we have high. I'm gonna put this on HDR and see how this runs. All right guys, so we are finally on foot. Gotta go figure out where all the weapons are at and uh, see if we can't get some eliminations in this game right here. But everything so far has been looking good. I just landed barely, but um, we're looking good so far. I'll let you guys know once we get in a battle, once we see something else, but shadowing and graphics and all that stuff look totally fine. I don't really see any glitches or anything so far, so, so far so good. So we have our first person running up on us right now. Downed him. There we go, first elimination. Nice. Alright guys, I see another dude right here. Ah. Had a little glitch right there. I think that has to do with my internet, though. I don't know if that's the game. Got another elimination right there. Nice. Need to take bros, bros ammunition as well. And we have a drop top. Looks like to be like a Monte Carlo or something like that. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and see how this goes right here. I mean, it's running good. This game is definitely running good so far. I do not know how to drive in this game, though. Wow. Everything's looking good, though. Combat, driving, all that type of stuff is going to work on here. Obviously, you guys may see some trees and stuff loading in a little bit late. But for the most part, PUBG Mobile is going to be a playable game on here. Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> and the last game we're gonna be testing on here is Genshin Impact, the most graphical intensive game in our lot of three right here. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this runs. All right guys, so this is a little bit of a surprise. Uh, we are in the graphic settings of Genshin Impact and it looks like our default is going to be medium right here. It is gonna be set to low, but there is no default set for us so we can put it on a medium and it's still going to be balanced as opposed to the galaxy a35 when we put it on medium on that device uh it said overclocked so that's definitely a good sign um and if we put this on high it says overclocked right here but still we're gonna go ahead and try out high graphical settings on the galaxy a55 i think the exynos 1480 can handle this so we're gonna check this out and see how this goes of course graphics look beautiful on this 
what we're going to have to stress test this with is running into some people to battle right now. So we're going to find some people, but of course, graphics look great. This is on 30 frames per second as well. And uh, everything looks like it's running really, really decently so far. All right, guys, so we have some enemies right here. Let's go ahead and see how this looks finally. Um, again, Exynos 1480 processor that we're running right now on this device. And it looks to be running much better than the Exynos 1380. So that's really surprising. It's super, super surprising. What's weird too is the Galaxy A35 was running better than the Galaxy A54 as well. We can run that on medium all day, but this is on high graphical settings. I'm not seeing any glitching or anything like that. Uh, I'm just super, super impressed with this so far. This is very, very impressing. Let's go ahead and try that and then uh, get a little bit more graphic and intensive with this. Bigger animation. That totally, that totally ran fine. Wow. So you guys should be able to run this. Let's get this, get this girl out. You guys should be able to run this on full graphical settings, on high, on high graphical settings rather. Let's go over here though. Boom. So this game runs totally fine. Looks great as well. I'm impressed, Samsung. All right, guys, so that was my gaming review or gaming test on the new Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed, Samsung. Uh, this processor in video gaming is considerably better than the previous Galaxy A54. So there definitely was a bump in processing power inside of this. I know it doesn't look crazy on paper, but last year I remember barely being able to run medium and low, it was like kind of glitching a bit. So the Galaxy A55 is definitely a decent gaming device, especially if you're getting this device for $400 or even under $400 right here. I was really impressed with that. Of course, Call of Duty Mobile works fine. PUBG Mobile works fine as well. Um, so everything is looking pretty good for the Galaxy A55 so far. Good job, Samsung, on this. Sucks that it didn't come to the States, but still a decent mid-range gaming phone.